If you are creating content for YouTube and you're doing a multi-point presentation where you have five, seven, 10 bullet points that you're talking about, but you don't have time to memorize it, you're not using a teleprompter, or you didn't have the ability to print out some notes and keep them right under your camera so as to glance at without looking away from your camera too much, and you still want to give this presentation, but you don't want to do jump cuts where you say a point and then very clearly stop and then start again, which kind of takes people out of the conversation you're having, there's actually a way around this. And it's all about B-roll footage. So if you have a multi-point presentation and you just are not going to get through all of it in one take, but you want it to look smooth and intentional without those very obvious stops, use B-roll footage to illustrate the things you're talking about. This can be B-roll footage specifically related to the points you're talking about. So as a dog influencer, I'm constantly teaching about dog things. I can take videos of my dogs and superimpose them as B-roll over me talking, illustrating the points that we are having the conversation about. But if I'm having a conversation where I can't really film content that is specific to that, I can then use B-roll footage of me doing things as an entrepreneur, doing things inside of my business so that people can kind of see the behind the scenes of what I'm doing. It adds visual interest, but it also covers the cuts. So if I'm doing a conversation, like I just filmed a video that had multiple parts, but I didn't have the ability to set anything up where I could very easily glance at it and keep talking, I did some jump cuts. I stopped in between each one and I paused to read it and then I came back to it. And that's very obvious because I'm not in the same pose. I'm not smiling the same way. I'm not I don't have my hair and my head tilted in the same way or my hair is in the same place. It's going to be very obvious that I cut it and that takes people out of it. Not everybody, but enough. And so I can use then B-roll footage to cover that. I can put something there that starts at the very end of the sentence that I'm saying and goes through the beginning of the sentence or even just covers the end or the beginning of the next sentence. Now, I do not recommend if you are doing point one, point two, point three, that you start your B-roll at the beginning of point two. I do recommend you start at the end of point one and either go right up to point two or go into point two and then come back to that main footage of you talking to your videos. But however you choose to do this, having B-roll footage, having behind the scenes, or, and this works really well too, changing how you're filming is going to work really well for you. We have tons of videos on how you, all you have to do is grab your camera source and change the angles a little bit. Or if you're just filming straight like this, you can zoom in and zoom out to make it look like intentional cuts. And as long as you are keeping relatively still, so you're, you know, looking at the same part of the lens every time and you don't turn to go look at your notes too fast, it's not going to look like you intentionally had to stop and deal with things. It looks like we're just cutting in and out. So as long as you maintain a little bit of a gap time going into and coming out of the things that you're saying, you will have that crossover piece so that it looks like you're just clipping it in and clipping it out a little bit closer, a little bit further away. Or you can use that B-roll footage to kind of bridge over what you're doing to make it stay in place, stay as people are inside of the conversation without realizing, oh, she didn't know what she was talking about. Oh, he had to stop. Oh, they had to look at notes. Oh, they didn't film that all in one take. Oh, they don't know what they're talking about. That covers it up and it looks more intentional. So adding B-roll footage or doing those zoom in, zoom out cuts really work to your benefit. Now, again, lots of videos on how to do that zoom in, zoom out, and how to move your camera around so that you are intentionally creating diversity in the videos that you're creating and visual interest are here on the channel. You can check those out. And if you've got questions, now is a great time to drop those. But this is also a really good time for you to start filming B-roll footage. Lots of videos on how to do this, how to do it in terms of what you're doing inside of your business to build up your brand, to elevate what you are creating. So make sure you check out the full playlist and drop your questions on social media marketing down below. We're dropping new videos every single day to help you navigate the world of entrepreneurship to save time and effort and stress when you are creating your content. So this can be your most profitable year ever without all of the extra work. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.